Be gentle if they spot me. Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman on the hunt. You and Erke found the identity of the leech. Some holy healer. She was called Frida Swiss. Had an appetite for eyes. If this order can corrupt London's favorite saint, what hope do we have? In noise yet about the Arrow and recruits. I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the Arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor! What was your impression of Erke? Erke has been a great help. Why doubt him now? Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It is good to talk, unburden your soul. Clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. And thank you for listening. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. Just about this laugh, my friend.
me from broken fingers. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers, and now you have found one. This contest is private, invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking, but I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. It all Here's a new competitor. A Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Sayed. All right, take your mark. Hook set. Arrows not fire. Deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. Well shot. You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Husa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. <laughs> Arrow is making his speech at the Imperial Arch. On your way now. Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London, we have had a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friend, my leader, slaughtered like a dog by outsiders, by the enemy. Do we expect his reeves to guide us? Some arsed halfwits let Trigger die. They think we're safe. But our governor knew 
He confided in me his real plans to protect London. The drunken Danes of Northumbria polluting the north. Alfred and his men of Wessex rallying to the south. Of all this, Trigger said, have course, what we need now are strong borders and stronger soldiers. Today, I honor that wish. I present to you, good people of London, our new elite archery force. These elite archers will be stationed with our springards, ready to attack invaders by land or by water. And further, until these storms of accusations clear, I will take Trigger's place at the head of our fair city. Not that I could replace him, for Trigger was a pillar of steel. But I can try. Let me be your arrow. Let me point a true way forward. Some will be naysayers, those who wish to discredit me, and those who wish to keep London weak. Listen not to them, friends. I serve only London. I serve you. London is a place of prosperity. Prosperity we must export to all of Britain's kingdoms. No more false kings with their lies. Heed the ancient ways. The true strength of London. Rule London. Rule Britain. Rule the world. Into order and truth. Knocked. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy! Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves! He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire!
Ruka off. You're unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain, called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear, if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgos, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage. To harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man, such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it, and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort, when glory has the taste of your family's blood. Two targets down. Only the compass remains. If it were my men killed, I would be on my way to London now. The compass will come, and we must be ready. Expecting the worst. I do not want anyone catching me off guard. Could we take the fight to him? There may be a way. Let's regroup in the church when you've had time to rest, Broga. The good sister was murdered, and where were your guards? You hear me, okay? Some surly guests outside. Eivor, we were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Avgors and Frieswith have angered many. Let us hope the compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? It is time we focused on the compass. Gather all we know, and lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart. Cut raven ink from a cowering quill. Now we wait, wolf tensed, for the master of the river rip to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well. This one's got the gift of all in's meat. What is on your mind, though? We know the Compass is a sailor, a captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leads and the arrow, you want to hit back. But we can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up. You find a way out.
clear of this inferno! Huh? I had a view of the city from the roof. There's a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass, bastard. If we commandeered the Springles at Avgos port, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. Let us focus on the compass. Kill him and the battle's won. I can lead you straight to him, through the reeds, like Stow's Moses. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our swords and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. We'll see you when it's done, Erke. Count on it. Follow me. I know the path straight to the... We'll be able to flank them. this path. You'll avoid most attention. I'll give you cover when I can. Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Hudika was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shithouse. So bright and beautiful, set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? 
You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that tide. The drinker we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burnt? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood or stone. <laughs> Ill timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting. I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. Aye, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trickers before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the right to wear it now. I'm touched, Eke. I will carry it with pride.
Yes, please, one more. And only because you all have such good taste. London is with us, and cleansed of the Order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. I should speak with Hytham. to hide them about my next targets. The Wolfka! So glad to see you. Yes. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. I have something here for you. Tidings that may displease you. Tell me. You remember Kjotve's son, Gorm? He has since taken his father's place in the Order. Interesting. He's got him here in England. Is he another bludge on our list? He is one of our targets, yes. But he is not in England. He is further west, in fact. A land called Vinland, discovered centuries ago by an Irish sailor called Brendan. The Order of the Ancients has some recent fascination with Vinland, but I cannot say what it might be. Let me find out for you. After I silence got him. Vinland is far away, according to my source. It may take weeks to find him after a long and perilous journey. There's no danger that would cow me, Hytham. I will speak with Ranvi and arrange passage. Was there something else? I have to go. Then go in peace. Yes, yes, one more. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago at a desert...